Hi everyone, this is an Amalgia video for Animal Crossing New Horizons on the Nintendo Switch, and today we're going to be talking about how to catch the fly and the ant. The fly and the ant aren't difficult to catch, it's more that their spawn conditions are a little unusual. As you can see here from the fly's Critterpedia page, it's available all year long and all day long. And the same is true for the ant. The fly tends to be a little bit rarer than the ant, but not to the point where it should cause you any concern. While it is possible for the fly to be on tin can garbage left outside, I'll show you the best way I've found for getting both the fly and the ant pretty quickly. Hopefully by now you're familiar with how the stock market works and turnips in general. If you're not, I've got a video that you can check out that will teach you all you need to know about turnips, but for the purposes of this video, you just need to know that there's more to turnips than making mad amounts of money off of them. On Sunday mornings, a small board girl with turnips strapped to her head will visit your town. Talk to her in order to purchase some turnips. She will disappear at noon though, so make sure to get the turnips you need before she leaves town. She sells turnips in bundles of 10, and 10 is the smallest increment that you can buy turnips in. In this video I'm buying the max, but you don't need to do that for the fly and the ant. You just need to buy one or two uh, increments of 10. Once you have the turnips, put them in your house or wherever you want to store them. The key is that turnips spoil if you don't sell them by the next Sunday. And that is exactly what we're aiming to do here. So make sure that you've got the cheapest turnip stacks you can, and then let them spoil intentionally. Once you have spoiled turnips, just leave them on the grass outside and a stream of ants will spawn as soon as you walk away from the turnips practically. They're pretty easy to find. Part of the problem with the fly is that because the ants are so common and they interact with the turnip, they can keep the fly from spawning. I think it's a little ironic for someone wearing a knight costume to be yelling, tell me where the queen is, but that's not important for the purposes of this video. Or is it? Anyway, once you've caught the ants, pick up your spoiled turnips, and the key is now going to be using the spoiled turnips while making sure the ants don't spawn. This can be done by placing your spoiled turnips on paved surfaces away from grassy areas where ants can spawn. This will make it so that you're more likely to have the fly appear on your spoiled turnips. Having multiple stacks of spoiled turnips can help increase the spawn rate, but as long as the ants are out of the picture, it's really not all that rare, so you don't have to go waste all your money on you know stacks of turnips to spoil. I have left different pieces of garbage outside in hopes of getting the fly to spawn, but the only time I've ever seen a fly on a piece of garbage was when I also had a stack of spoiled turnips next to a tin can. So I don't know if the fly will spawn on tin cans inherently, but the fastest way I've seen to do it is to just have spoiled turnips on hand. Anyway, that's really all there is to it. I hope this video helps you capture these pesky pests so you can finish your Critterpedia. Thanks for watching.